A wad is a wave attenuation device. We want to kill the wave energy. It is a it is a patented concrete product that has holes in it, uh, triangular holes in it, all around it. It is sized according to the Pacific site that we're going to. They may be a two and a half foot wad, maybe a five foot wad, it may be a nine and a half foot wad. We've actually even uh, modeled one for 21 feet. So everything is sized according to the conditions that we're dealing with. But the objective of the wad is to kill energy. Allow water to transmit or go through, because you want the water to go through, you don't want it stagnant behind it, okay? But you want to kill the energy so that you stop erosion, you allow sea grasses to grow, etc. They have worked. Um, you can see actually we're coming up on a little spot where we're seeing mangrove propagules, little baby mangroves that are starting to grow. Where in the past, you know, as soon as those mangroves started to grow on the shoreline, they'd be washed away um, by the wave energy. We've seen um, some accumulation of sand, you know, sand that is shifted around normally would be lost to the bay. And these wide units are capturing and keeping that sand along the shoreline. So we've seen some movement and accretion of the sand behind the wads. And so absolutely, we've, uh, we, we think it's been working well out here. But you can see along the shoreline we have young night herons, young ibis, uh, maybe we'll see some young spoonbills. This is the largest spoonbill colony in the state. It's right now the most important bird nesting colony in the state of Florida.